Hello guys, welcome to a vlog. Oh, I've got some things to update you on. So Hot's taking a shower. Uh, so if you hear fun shower music in the background, that's what's going on. It's Wednesday for reference. <laughs> More like I need the reference of what day it is. So I had an unfortunate situation yesterday that I woke up with a com like my back was completely thrown out. I had a really bad back spasm. I think I just jumped back into like you know, intense physical activity um, with having done really no physical activity over my summer vacation and it just, yeah, it just got me. I was kind of suffering a little bit yesterday, I can't lie. I woke up and it's a little bit better today. I've been just trying to relax and fight that like urge to like do things, you know, when you have two days off in the middle of the week. You want to go out, you want to do something, and just yesterday that was not an option. I kind of had to come to terms with just chilling the hell out. I've also been watching uh, Lizzie Hadfield's uh, YouTube videos. She makes amazing vlogs. I have not been... Well, I've been trying to put together a vlog, I think, for like a week and a half now. And I don't know, it's just not gelling. It's just not working. I was just feeling really unnatural and a bit forced and I definitely don't want to force that. Um, I tried to edit some things this morning and I was just like, no. But Lizzie's vlogs kind of like uh, inspired me again and she just like posted a bunch of moving vlogs so I was like resting my back with a pillow sitting down with headphones, doing like a Lizzie moving vlog um, marathon. We do have a dinner engagement tonight with a friend, so that will be cute. We'll probably make something. I'm waiting for an answer on like what we should bring, if we should bring something sweet or... Um, so we might make something for that. Uh, my back is a little bit better today. I'm trying not to test it too much, but it's definitely making progress. Um, I'll show you what I'm wearing. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing today. I need to cut my bangs because they're just... I'm, I'm just really annoyed with them and not liking them, which, like, just makes me feel weird because I really loved them for, like, a, a little period of time. Maybe it's just the length, so I went with just pinning them back. And I'm wearing this um, vintage dress. There's a really good secondhand vintage kilo, like a bi kilo shop, uh, right down the street, dangerously close. So we found this there. I really like the like drop waist. It feels like a very, very bougie hotel robe. Um, the kind of fabric of a robe also. And then this kind of like pleated skirt. And the shoes I've been wearing, the shoes I've been wearing are just these like really simple leather, um, sorry there's a siren, simple leather uh, like sandals from And Other Stories. They were on sale and they were my size and there was one pair and I felt like it was just meant to be. And I'm wearing this necklace from the Paris uh, based jewelry brand Agape Studio, which I've talked about before. I'll put that in the downstairs uh, if you want to take a look. Um, yeah, I was pretty happy with this outfit today, so I wanted to share with you. Plans changed. We thought we were gonna go to the beach, but we're not. <laughs> We've been enjoying this um, new series uh, called Nine Perfect Strangers. I think it's a Hulu original. Like a weird, freaky, kind of suspense show about like wellness and like wellness retreats. So we decided we're gonna stay home and just watch an episode of that. So I'm in something more comfortable. Also, uh, something to update you on. I tried like 50,000 times to talk about this book and you know when it's like you can't find the right words to say something and you try so many times that in the end it just like is not even worth it. So this is kind of how I feel about talking about this book. It's Otessa Moshfeg's uh, Death in Her Hands, my first Moshfeg and I really really enjoyed it and that's kind of all I have the power left to say about it, that I really enjoyed this 
I didn't want to do anything but read this. It was so enjoyable after the last book I read, which was just super challenging when it came to the language and just like, it was kind of a mind fuck. And this is also sort of, but in a really digestible and enjoyable way. So I'm a Moshevik fan for sure after this. I'm sure you've heard a lot about this book, so I don't feel like I need to pitch it to you. Um, but it's, it was just really good and really enjoyable. And it's been a while since I had that kind of reading experience where I just was physically, well, not physically, eating the book. Um, like Rebecca eats books, babe. We, we also, I also eat books. Just didn't want to do anything or shower or anything but read this. So um, was really good. I'm wearing a shirt that belonged to my mother that might have belonged to my father. Like it's a family shirt and always makes me think of them and think of home when I'm wearing it. So um, that's what I'm lounging in. So look at this like really cute picture of me and my dad. I look like a tiny, tiny little monkey here. Um, this is where I keep my perfumes and I wanted to share it with you. The perfume that probably everybody knows about. Um, this is Centol 33 from Le Labo. I knew about uh, Le Labo for a long time, but just never really went into a store. Um, you can't order it online. It doesn't ship, I think, anywhere outside of the US. So uh, when we were in Rome, I went in and smelled it. And at first I was a bit disappointed. I was like, oh, I wanted to like it more. And then it kept sitting on my arm when I sprayed it and it was just like heavenly to smell. And also Ohad, my partner, like really loved it, which is a total plus, you know, when your partner is like, that smells really, really good. You want to smell good also for them. So um, <laughs> that's my current fave perfume and what I'm smelling like. Nobody asked, but I thought I would share. You can also customize the label, and so it says my name on it. Um, so that's pretty damn cool in my opinion. Okay, we're gonna make a little snack um, and watch TV. So this is my final look for tonight. I hope y'all enjoyed. <laughs> it's really refined. Um, getting ready with me. Tried to go for something more subtle. Um, polished. Polished. Hello everyone, it's a new day. It is almost the evening actually. We are officially back to work, so uh, vlogging will be probably mornings or after work. I don't know if you have this thing that when you're not working, you wake up really early, like just naturally. And then 
when it's time to go back to work and I actually have to get up in the morning, it's really, really difficult for me to wake up early. So probably I won't be vlogging very much before work days, just knowing myself. Yeah, so it's around, what time is it? It's 5.25. Um, and it is 10,000 and a half degrees outside, so I'm sweaty and gross. But before I jump in the shower, I want to just um, show you what I'm wearing. So that was, that's kind of the theme of this vlog for me, is just to film my outfit for a week, like outfits for a week, and then also talk about um, what I'm reading. So, yeah, I'm gonna do that now. So today's outfit's pretty, um, simple, but it's all secondhand except for the shoes. So this is just a men's kind of uh, short sleeve button up shirt. It's like a very light blue, um, like gingham print. I just thought that was very nice and summery and it's, we're approaching the end of summer, but it just made me happy to put this color on today. And these are uh, shorts that we got from a friend of ours, which are originally American Apparel, so they may still make them. Yeah, and I'm realizing that this length of shorts is very nice for me, so it's good for reference when I buy shorts in the future. Uh, same sandals from And Other Stories, and same necklace that you saw already. So I am going to shower. Tonight I am going to try to get my like booster uh, vaccine. Hopefully that works out, and I will show you and talk a little bit about what I'm reading right now after I shower. Okay. I am showered, so I'm feeling more like a presentable human being. I'm also just gonna moisturize my face. If you're curious, this is Clinique uh, Moisture Surge Intense. Okay, so like I mentioned, I finished, um... Death in Her Hands by Otessa Moshveg, which I really loved. I moved on to The Days of Abandonment by Elena Ferrante. Everyone um, shits on this cover, uh, or on all of her covers, <laughs> but this one I actually love. Um, yeah, that's pretty much works for me aesthetically. Blue is my favorite color, and I like this woman painting in the mirror. Also, Dipping in and out of Room to Dream, which is um, the memoir of David Lynch, and it's written by David Lynch and Christine McKenna. It's a thick one. And also just not something that I would really sit down and read cover to cover, you know, as the only thing that I read. Um, I like... I'm gonna try to start to read like a fiction and a nonfiction simultaneously. Um, and so this is my nonfiction kind of pick right now. I'm about a little over halfway through. Um, this is crazy. This is um, Ferrante, and I was talking to Rebecca from Rebecca Eats Books. She said, this one's got that manic, hysterical Ferrante energy, and that is so true. I love Ferrante's writing. She's such a great writer. She just writes some banging sentences, like, yes, 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 yes. Days of Abandonment is following um, Olga, our main character, in the days preceding her husband leaving her, abandoning her, hence the title. That's it. She's just left kind of like to deal with broken pieces of her family, of herself. For lack of a better way to put it, um, Olga is just completely falling apart. She's really losing her shit. She really can't keep it together. She's so, she's so much in pain and so much in shock. And she loses touch with herself, but also her responsibilities, aka her children that she needs to take care of. There's a dog, so she's got things and people and beings that she needs to um, take care of, and, and she just can't. This book, I think, um, from what I've read, is pretty notorious for being polarizing for people. Her depiction of motherhood and womanhood in this character. This compelling novel shocked audiences in Europe with its unsentimental and unyielding depiction of motherhood, marriage, and solitude. So I really appreciate the... Specifically in regards to motherhood, I think it's a depiction 
of a situation that we don't normally hear definitely gives a voice to mothers who are going through some really, really hard things as individuals and how do you reconcile with, you know, never having really the chance to fall apart because you need to keep your family together, you need to keep everything together and everyone expects women to constantly, you know, have it collected. However, there are moments in here where I um, really have a problem with her um, and I want to um, slap her. Very um, visceral and sensual, the back it says, um, tactile, sensual, visceral and dizzying. It's very dizzying. You get this feeling like you're inside her head and it's in the middle of a heat wave in August in Italy. So, and I was just in Italy in August so I can relate to the heat wave. So you kind of feel like you're in those hot days with her when you don't remember if you turned on the fire, if you turned it off, if it's still burning, when you go outside to walk the dog, you forget things that you might have done instinctually or might have lost touch with what is instinctual even right now. So I, you really get sucked into this woman and her situation and it's really devastating for her, so you feel it's devastating for you. Similar to The Lost Daughter uh, by Ferrante, which I have up there, it's a similar size and it's one singular piece. It's not part of, you know, a quartet or a series or anything. Um, that it's really packing a lot in one little book. The chapters are short. Yeah, I am enjoying that, but it is challenging. I'm like, whoa! So yeah, that one's a crazy one. And um, David Lynch is one of my favorite artists. I think I've said that before. I just appreciate him so much. His films, his music, his art. Just very, very inspiring to me, a very inspiring man. I would love to meet him one day. And this is um, written really in an interesting way because it's David Lynch and like I said before, Christine McKenna. So basically Christine McKenna is writing a biography of him based on uh, interviewing his the people in his life, people he's worked with, collaborated with, his family, um, and writing a chapter. And then David would read the chapter and respond to it by writing something of his own. So like it says in the introduction, what you're reading here is basically a person having a conversation with his own biography. I'm, I assume that that will take me quite a while uh, to get through, but I'm enjoying, I will enjoy just dipping in and out of it. Hod got his uh, third vaccine like in the afternoon, so we'll see progressively how he feels in the evening. I'm sort of craving a cold glass of white wine, um, so I would love to see that in my future. <laughs> if you're wondering what I'm lounging in, it, this is a white t-shirt from uh, Uniqlo, and these white linen pants from other stories that I've been living in in the summer. Uh, that's it for now. Catch you later. Hi, we're back home from a nice little aperitivo. We had glasses of wine and a little Greek salad. We did our vegetable shopping and I got some candles, which I really love. There's a candle shop kind of close by um, and they were out of this candle for a long time but I saw it through the window so I went back. It's the smell of patchouli, which I really love. I mean, patchouli can be a little bit overwhelming, but in this particular candle, I think it's really nice. We've got sometimes like a slight sewage problem inside our bathroom because of something with the way that the plumbing works. So I got two, one for the living room and one for the bathroom to hopefully help with that situation. How are you feeling after a glass of wine and a third vaccine? A little whoa, 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 whoa. A little exhausted.
gonna start cutting some vegetables because we're gonna just do a big roast in the oven. In a shloop? Yeah. Do you want to go to lobby also? Mm -hmm. How's it look? Wow. Looks good. It does look good. Padma launch me. <laughs> Realness. Cooking. Instagram. Look at those oily hands. And these are dirty, dirty, dirty makeup brushes from all of my drag experiments at home. It needs to be addressed. Good morning, it's a new day. Today is Friday and we have a short day at work, um, but I have to leave soon, so I thought that I would show you what I'm wearing because I love this outfit. Yeah, I need to run soon, but I wanted to do that before. So the top I'm wearing is really, really old. I think definitely vintage from somewhere. It's like kind of satin silk. I don't think it's a silk. I think it's more a satin material. Um, just like camisole blouse top. <laughs> and these are some brown linen pants from And Other Stories. And the same kind of boring flip-flop sandals from End Other Stories. A little stain here, I'm sure you can notice. I don't know if we can get it out, but you know, that's life. And the same necklace that I always wear. So that's me today. I feel very um, put together and cute, but relaxed and summery. So I'm gonna head to work and then I'll catch you guys later. So we're on our way to find some lunch, but it's Friday afternoon, so... It's really impossible to yeah. sit somewhere in Tel Aviv on a Friday afternoon. So it's really busy. But hopefully we'll find something. That's cute, baby. So our backup backup plan didn't work. So... I don't know. Found a place to eat. Uh, a nice glass of wine, so... The day turns around. Cheers. Hi. Um, okay, I'm home. Ohad had another social engagement, so I have the house to myself for a few hours. We were just walking around, like you saw. Um, maybe I'll just put this down. Um, we were walking around for a while trying to find a place to eat. 
Um, and it's really difficult to find a place on Friday afternoon that has space. But we ended up finding this like very cute wine bar slash kind of deli that had like sandwiches and salads that sounded like kind of basic by description on the menu, but they were really, really good and fresh and delicious. So it was all just worth it so that we could find a kind of new uh, lunch place near us. And I wanted to show you this outfit because it consists mostly of this piece which was made by a friend of ours with her own hands. So I have got to show you for sure. This piece is from our friend Mai, who you've seen in vlogs before. She has, um, she makes bags but she has an Instagram, which I'm gonna link downstairs, called My Sews Things. So it's just things that she sews. So um, she doesn't right now sell this top, but um, she made it as like kind of a prototype for a costume for something that we're working on together for like a um, choreography piece slash film. So this was kind of like a prototype, but like a little bit changed to just be like a nice summer dress slash top. So I'm wearing that, a My Sews Things original. I'm just pairing it with white linen shorts from And Other Stories, like all of my linen pieces this summer. Socks from Muji. Also these amazing new sneakers that I got while I was abroad in Rome. These are from Camper. Um, a shoe brand that I really really love. I've been looking for a white sneaker but I wanted like something kind of different and special so I really liked this kind of tan rubber around and also the orange little C for camper. I am sweating and then the sunglasses I was wearing are by Elizabeth and James, which is a brand by Mary-Kate and Ashley. They have The Row, and then they also have Elizabeth and James. These were the first probably expensive, like, designer sunglasses I ever bought. Um, actually, I just saw them on Instagram and, like, uh, ordered them immediately. That was, like, a few years ago. Can probably tell already but I'm a little bit a little bit a little bit drunk it's just so hot I'm probably dehydrated a little bit I know most of the viewers of this channel are um, currently like here for book related videos because um, that's what I've been posting for the last I don't know half of half a year or more even actually almost a year what am I saying half a year almost a year so I don't know I hope we're open to like different things I just I've been feeling like I need something to work on. Um, I don't really have a lot of personal projects going on outside of work, and I'm someone who like likes to create things, likes to have my own things going on outside of my you know main work. So yeah, I want that to be YouTube partially, among other things. Um, but, you know, I'm, like, sometimes I'm not reading that much or, I don't know, not in the mood to talk, uh, really, really deeply about what I'm reading. So, I feel like I want to expand the channel a little bit, talk about other things, maybe art, different artists that I like, obviously books, because that is a big part of my life, um, and maybe a little bit of fashion and, like, all the things <laughs> that make me, me. I mentioned Lizzie Hadfield um, earlier in one of the previous clips, and I just really loved watching her videos the other day because it, it made me feel like no matter what she talked about, it was just like watching a friend talk, and that's how I want it to be for you. Uh, I want it just to be like, you know, where friends. <laughs> talked about this with Iggy from Literary Iggy. I'm gonna leave all these people in the downstairs bar and you can like have a fun marathon of all these great people to watch. We're talking that it's not really about the content, it's about the person and most of the people that come here to watch like yes they are interested in a specific content but they're also just interested in us, not in a narcissistic way, just like how I am when I watch other people. I, I don't even care what they talk about, it's just that I'm interested in spending my, whatever, 30 minutes watching their video. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. 
Um, I need a tripod because I keep just like stacking books to um, use to prop my camera up. So that should be my next purchase. Okay. I will catch you later. I'm gonna do some editing. So I'm told. Um, so I will leave the link to do to say something nice, but I can't make you guys do that. Um, talk about life. Hi. This vlog is probably all over the place for you, but I have a really nice recommendation I wanted to share with you. I chatted on Instagram with this lovely woman named Amanda. Um, her Instagram is DJ Mother Earth, which I love. And she runs a sort of radio playlist podcast called The Breastfeeding Hour. Music to breastfeed, bottle feed, and chill to, which sounds amazing. Obviously, I'm not breastfeeding. Um, for obvious reasons, but I listened to one of the episodes. It's just like um, a little playlist of songs and I really, really enjoyed it. I guess they're new um, at 9 a.m. on Tuesdays, but for reference, I was listening to episode 49. It's thebreastfeedinghour.com. So I just wanted to share that with you if you're in need of some nice tunes in your space that are maybe not songs that you know but that lend a nice vibe so um check them out and amanda dj mother earth who runs this uh watches my videos so that's how we got to talking so hi and um so happy that we messaged and i love your radio may i film your outfit this is yours where is it from I think I got it. Mmm. Wow. Well, I really have no idea. It's like a peanut bouch, like long dress. Long right of spring dress. Mm -hmm. And this slip skirt that is second hand from somewhere. Somewhere in the world. I don't remember. Yeah. My new Zara shoes. My Valentino glasses. Yes, Valentina. Hoops. Yes. My Syrian grandmother's bracelet. Oh yeah, that's hot. Some Chanel foundation. Yes. An eyebrow gel. Oh yes, you are thorough. When you're like 90s sassy runway walk. Yeah. No, no, yes. <laughs> Yes. Okay, so per usual, because I talk too damn much, um, I started editing this vlog together and it's already like 30 minutes. Um, and I was planning on vlogging for a week, but that would just be like really, really, really long. So I guess we're gonna end it here and I guess I'll just keep vlogging and keep making videos out of them. Um, please, if you have any ideas, suggestions, thoughts, um, yeah, anything is really welcome. You can leave it in the comments and I would love to read. Um, thank you so much for spending some of your time with me. Big hugs. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.